So here's an alternative to walkways and decks using these concrete piers and these metal pins. Very, very little digging at all. We have Ralph Schmidt, Pat Noonan, and Aaron Lambrecht here to give us a hand, and let's go see how they work. All right, well, we have the bridge in pretty much the location. I think everybody's happy. We have the right angle going across the creek. We have it uh, distributed evenly on both sides. Now, here's the plan we're going with. This is the side view looking up the creek. So you can see we have uh, our piers here on either side. This is a view looking down on top of the bridge. So on each side, this is where the piers go. We have a, a pier on each outside edge, and then we have one right in the center. Now, the way I understand it, instead of digging down four feet to get down below the frost line, we're just going to be taking out a little bit of dirt, enough to level the pier, and then driving it in with the pins, right? Correct. Okay, you want to talk a little bit about how this is going to work? Well, the system is based on pin pile technology, where the weight is transferred from the head into the pin, so the pin has all the load and all the uplift resistance in the system. Now, these have a flat top to accommodate any kind of fastener. The top on it is a standard five and a half inch for a six by six post, and you can use smaller size posts on there also. Excellent. They come in different sizes? They come in different sizes. The top of the pier is ba based on a six by six, and we also have a DP75, which is for 60 inch frost, and we have a DP100, which carries more weight. Now, these are going to be really good for low impact for wetlands, national parks, right? Right. We've uh, used it nationally over the last 17 years with the national park systems. Uh, they use it in wetland areas. Uh, it has a low impact on the environment because you don't have to have machinery to bring it back there. You can carry it. And also, we just take a small amount of dirt out just to set the head in. So you don't have any of those issues of runaway erosion and things like that. And then this is removable, too. It is removable, which is nice because if you change your mind or you change where you want the bridge to go, you can pull them out and move them. It happens a lot with deck construction, where they may want to move a stairway uh, or they want to add something to it, they can move it. So, Pat, normally when you put in footings, I mean, we're digging down in this area 42 inches into the ground and then 12 inches around. I mean, that's a lot of soil to be removing. But uh, this is about all you're going to take out, right? Yep, basically foot by foot square, 8 to 10 inches deep, depending on your application. Um, it's a lot of wheelbarrow loads, it's a typical concrete footing. So now you're just uh, able to pop the pier in. You want this to be uh, perfectly over to the other one this, in the distance we need for the width of the bridge in, right? Yep, we're looking for three foot seven and a half yep. on the overall distance. Looks like we're pretty good. Oh yeah, we are looking pretty good. Okay, so once that's in position, uh, then you're ready to put the pins in. Now these pins have a little tip that you put on the end, and that just helps them get through the ground. Yep, helps ease the travel into the ground. It also keeps the dirt from backing up on the inside of the pipe. That way the inspector can slide a tape measure down and verify the depth on the pin for foot footing inspection later. So four pins do the whole operation. Yep. Just place those in like so, and once all the pins are in, then it's uh, a matter of hauling out, uh, what, do you, what do you start with, the sledge? Usually I start with the sledgehammer. And just kind of take a look at my level, make sure we're in the right vicinity, and just start tapping them in. Okay, so once once these are set, then it's time for the jackhammer, right? Yep. So it looks like you have a custom tip on the on the end of the jackhammer. Yeah, it's got a center pin here that keeps the, the head centered on the on the diamond pier pin, keeps it from slipping off. And that jackhammer is enough to just get that whole thing right into the ground? Hopefully. It looks like that little tip on the jackhammer leaves these things out just the exact amount you need. Yep, we want to put the weather tight cap on, make sure the elements stay out. Um, also, if you ever need to pull these back out, you can simply hook a pipe wrench on there and pry it back out. So you want to have something to grab. And uh, so to attach our beam then to the top here, we're going to use a uh, standard post base with the nut that's holding it down to the head itself. Okay. And then we've got a piece of composite decking goes over the top. So it's right in the top, so our beam will sit right here and we screw it in the side and we've got ourselves yep. a good connection. So we have one more to go in the center and then we're done with this side. Yep. Yeah, that is a slick system. So again, our bridge is about four feet wide with a beam on each side and two back to back down the middle. As a result, we have three piers on both sides. That means we should be well supported. Well, Pat, I got to tell you, this system is perfect for what we're doing here, just totally low impact. Yep, about the ideal location for this yeah. system. Oh, and it goes so fast. So we're ready for bridge here in a couple days. Excellent. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate, we appreciate it. it. Yeah. Now that we have a solid foundation down by the creek, we'll be ready to start building our bridge next time. And up at the house, we're ready to cover it with a composite roofing product that you are going to swear is real slate. Hopefully you can join us for that. Till then, I'm Dean Johnson. And I'm Miriam Johnson. Thanks for watching.